Well, those riders weren't the only ones having some fun out in the cold weather today, from blowing bubbles to taking the time to experiment with the temperatures well below freezing. It looks like everybody was properly dressed, warm, and Jason getting the little science on uh, with the classic, you know, below zero, put boiling water, throw it up in the air. Yeah, Pretty I easy for, for that to happen today. I love that, Sam, but I was I lasted about oh, 60 seconds yesterday yeah. out there at 25, uh, as a, a, you know, below zero for a wind chill at the beach. Uh, I'm good. I, You're there. Uh, take a picture. Run. Bucket run back list to the car. is done. It's over. Uh, let's take a look at what happened. Uh, just a remarkable situation in, in Maine the last 24 hours. Steam Devils, if you don't know what those are, go over to Facebook page, mine, or go to MooseCenterMaine.com. Got a picture up there. Uh, of one from uh, Jason Ritchie uh, up in Swans Island, 61 wind chill in Frenchville, Maine. That's, uh, you know, give or take about the coldest that we've have uh, from the automated measurements. Frost quakes uh, in northern Maine, so the water underground expanding and it sounds like an earthquake felt like one for a lot of people and tree explosions in Hancock County. So you have the water in the tree in a healthy oak tree or sap that it explodes and there were power outages from power lines coming down. So just a wild 24 hours so far. We're not done yet. Still quite cold tonight. Pets, people and pipes, a frostbite threat in the forecast still, but much warmer tomorrow by afternoon.